Hey there, it's Tara and welcome to day 11 of the Fruity Freeze 30 Day Raw Food Challenge. As you know, this challenge is 100% free, but there is an option for you to upgrade your challenge and you'll get a beautifully designed ebook with all the information and inspiration you need to live a raw food lifestyle this winter, access to our private support community on Facebook, and entry into a prize giveaway to win some awesome prizes. The grand prize, by the way, is lifetime access into the Raw Lifestyle Academy with over 30 ebooks and over 30 videos to keep you living a raw food lifestyle. On day 11 of the Fruity Freeze Challenge, I wanna talk about some of the struggles I've experienced as a raw vegan. I think some people assume that as soon as I started eating raw, it was just effortless and flawless right from the beginning. Now I'm almost six years in and hasn't it always been this amazing? Well, the truth is that it hasn't always been this amazing. The truth is that I haven't been living a raw food lifestyle for six years. I've been living a raw food lifestyle for eight years. For the first two whole years of my raw food journey, I struggled. I went from raw food to cook food and then felt so sick that I went back to raw food and I could never maintain the lifestyle. I could never sustain it. And a lot of the time I felt completely hopeless. Like there was something so wrong with me because there was all of these amazing people online who I followed who could effortlessly live this raw food lifestyle and something was wrong with me because obviously I just wasn't able to do it. And there was two particular occasions within those two years when I first started eating raw foods that gave me the motivation to really stick with it. When I was about a year into my raw food journey and I was really losing hope that I would actually be able to sustain this lifestyle, I went out to dinner with my boyfriend, <laughs> Ryan, actually, we had just started dating. And I got past a dish because I was so hungry and I was so tired of feeling like I wanted to eat raw but I couldn't so I just gave up and went whatever I'll just eat whatever I want and I ordered a vegan pasta dish I don't even like pasta so that was weird for me to begin with but I ordered it I ate it and right after I started eating it I started to feel sick but I decided to finish the meal I remember going home that night and I felt sick all night. I was throwing up all night from this heavy pasta dish. And I just knew at that point that cooked foods did not agree with me, that something had to give, something had to change. And even though I was so fed up at that point, it still took me a full another year to really get the motivation and inspiration to eat fully raw. And I really think the biggest mistake I made was that I was too hard on myself. I expected myself to go from a standard American diet to veganism overnight and then switch to raw food overnight. It was unrealistic. The expectations I had for myself were extraordinary and I just couldn't live up to the standard that I had set for myself. The second incident happened after my two year mark of trying to eat raw. I had just discovered the low fat, high fruit way of living raw and I was so excited because I knew something resonated with me and I knew that this was the way I wanted to live. And for the first time in my life, I could finally eat all the food I cared for and feel vibrant and healthy and happy. It was kind of like a dream come true. And Ryan and I were traveling to Ecuador. It was my first time traveling with this lifestyle and I literally just begun. I was in my first 30 days of actually maintaining a raw food lifestyle. I was feeling good and I thought, I got this. This is gonna be so easy for me. We're going down to the tropics. The food is gonna be beautiful. There's going to be so much of it. We were in the Galapagos Islands and I actually had a lot of trouble finding fruit because I wasn't used to the pre-planning and preparing that it takes to live this lifestyle when you travel. If you've ever traveled living a raw food lifestyle, you'll know you've got to pack a lot of food beforehand. You've got to look for places that you can get food where you're going. Look up any restaurants, cafes. It, it takes some pre-planning. It takes some work beforehand. Well, I didn't do any of that because I just didn't know any better. And in the first week, I got really hungry and my motivation and willpower went down because I was hungry, right? It's never about motivation or willpower. It's always about how hungry you are. So I ate some vegan pizza on regular dough, regular bread, and I got so sick that night. I remember, I'm not sure if I've ever felt that sick. I felt like I had food poisoning and I was up the entire night vomiting. I had sweats, I had the shakes, and for two days afterwards, I was bedridden because I ate vegan pizza. It was at that moment that I finally made the connection that I couldn't keep eating the foods that would do this to my body. It had nothing to do with purity, it had nothing to do with having to eat all raw or being as pure as possible, but it had to do with the fact that I needed to set a standard for how I wanted to feel. And how I felt after eating those cooked foods is not how I wanted to feel. And they were relatively healthy cooked foods. 
I mean, we're talking about whole wheat, non-GMO flour and some veggies and tomato sauce. Not really a big deal, right? Well, that's one of the reasons I choose to eat raw. And that's one of the reasons I have the motivation to eat raw. Because I feel like absolute garbage, like really sick when I eat cooked food. So I choose not to. And look, just because I eat an all raw diet doesn't mean that you have to do the same. It's great if you want to, and I hope you find inspiration and motivation in these videos. But I just want you to understand that I struggled in the beginning a lot. It took me years even to get to the point where I was able to start sustaining the lifestyle. And then it's been a learning journey for the last six years as well. So please don't put too much pressure on yourself to be perfect right from the beginning because it's not likely going to happen. I hope you liked the video from day 11 of the Fruity Freeze Challenge. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, share and subscribe if you want to see more of these videos and I will see you tomorrow. Cheers.